So in this video, we're going to look at how to deal with the taking the derivative of a natural logarithm when it has an absolute value function inside of it. So here's the idea. If we have the natural log of the absolute value of some function of x, it can be any function you wish, there are two possibilities. We, we know that we can't put zero into a logarithm. We know that from our pre-calculus background. We also know that um, whatever we put into the logarithm has to be greater than zero, so it has to be positive. So if we have an absolute value symbol on u of x, we're guaranteed uh, that we won't have a negative input to the natural log function. And there's going to be two possibilities. Either u of x is going to be greater than zero to begin with, or the other possibility is that u of x is going to be less than zero uh, to begin with. So if u of x is greater than zero, we would actually not need the absolute value symbol. We'd be able to be able to just drop the absolute value symbol off. And then if you wanted to take the derivative d dx of the natural log of x, um, we would just do wh what we've been doing in previous videos. We would do one over the function times the derivative of the function. We get that crap prime over uh, crap pattern. So what could we do if the function were less than zero or negative? Well, what we would do then is say, hey, the absolute value of u of x, because it has to be uh, positive, we would just take and negate the value of u of x so that instead of negative, it's positive, which is what you would get when you took the absolute value. So then I could say, what's d dx of the natural log of the opposite of u of x? And then we would get that the derivative is going to be 1 over the function, 1 over negative u of x times the derivative of that, which is going to be negative u prime of x. And what we see is that the negatives are going to cancel each other, and we still wind up with u prime of x over u of x. So it turns out that if we have the natural log of an absolute value of a function, the derivative of that is just going to be the derivative of the function divided by the function itself, and it's going to turn out that the absolute value isn't going to to matter in this case. So if we're applying it to a specific example then, if we have f of x equals the natural log of the absolute value of the sine of x, and we could only do this for value uh, input values for the sine that don't give us a zero, to take the derivative of this then, we would just get simply the derivative of the sine function and the derivative of the sine function is the cosine function over uh, the sine function itself. So we get 1 over crap times crap prime. And then the cosine divided by the sine is just the cotangent function. So we wind up getting the cotangent of x.